Hey, if you are like me, or anyone else who's here, you have no idea why I'm doing this. It's because Uncle Roger's funny. I think he's funny. I've seen like five videos, I think, and I think four out of five were really super funny. One was not so funny, but four out of five is pretty good. That's a really good success rate. So I'm going back to it. And I think, I think it's gonna be good. Cause he talks shit, he talks shit to people. But in a funny way, and I appreciate that. Let's go, Uncle Roger. Work at food truck. Less. One pound less? Yes. But no cucumber. Yes. No, one pound more for being annoying. <laughs> Hello, niece and nephew. It's Uncle Roger. Today, Uncle Roger getting another job because times are tough. I need money to buy a new polo shirt. My last job was at May May. Great. I also love that his polo shirt is not a name brand. That is very, I know he's over the top. I know he's exaggerating, uh, but I do have a lot of Asian friends. Like a, when I say a lot, I mean a lot, like a tremendous amount. Like pretty much they're all around you. They're behind you. And one thing I've seen them do, and now I do, well, I mean, I don't do, but I did do is that like when you see a three button shirt and it's like on sale for $5, you buy like one of every color. Who cares who, who makes it? A $5 shirt, I'll take one of, give me a orange, green, blue, red, black, white. And then they come home, they're like, look what I got. And they show you like 17 copies of the same shirt. Cause they're like, it was on sale or even cheaper, $3. It was, it was five marked down to three. So I think it's kind of funny that even though he's like playing into a stereotype, that he's doing it right restaurant but they fire uncle roger after one day i don't know why you're allergic to peanut that this i saw when I, before i did a reaction to it and i, I did like that video a bunch why yeah, so man. weak so weak hiya just eat peanut hospital very close don't worry so today is new job i'm gonna work at this food truck rice guy this is my boss for today. Hi, I'm Vanessa. Okay, Vanessa, what is Rice Guy? Uncle Roger, don't do research before <laughs> any job. Well, Rice Guys, we're all about serving a little bit of Chinese home cooking to the workers in the city. So really staple foods like chicken rice and pork rice, char siu and mapo tofu. Are you a chef? Have you always been chef? <laughs> no, we were all actually in our corporate jobs working in public accounting. Accounting? Hey. And now food truck. What your Anything's better than accounting. Parenting? What your parenting? <laughs> what you tell them? We just told them we really wanted to do this as our passion. We and your parents were like, but your accounting, you made good money in accounting and now you're doing rice truck. But you made good money though. It was good. You had good money. You had a chance to, uh, you know, I just dropped my mic pack. But you had a chance to, you know, save money, go further in accounting. You studied a long time, many years in school. Now you want to do a rice truck? See, I do. I'm not making fun. I know people. I know the, how this is. How much? Okay. How much money are you going to make at the rice truck? That's the question immediately. And when? How much money are you gonna make and how, when are you gonna make that? But you were already making money at your other job, but you quit it and now you have a rice truck, but you're not making money. They all love cooking and food, so they just really want us to be happy. That's not true, that's not true. I think they're lying to you. I yes, yes. Yeah. I think Asian parents want you to have money. They don't yes, yes. They want you to serve chicken out of truck. Actually, Uncle Roger likes food truck because if you got customer eat your food and die, you just drive away. Nobody can find you. Vanessa, very smart. Now we're gonna drive to location. Go, go. Whoa, he's letting her drive. There's not, there's anything wrong with that. Gender equality, I believe in that, you know. That's weird though. Go, oh, Vanessa, go. Uncle Roger, I thought we hired you to drive. No, 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 Uncle Roger, back, back, cannot <laughs> drive. You're so tiny, the chair bigger than her. Hi, yeah, you drive so slow. You drive like Uncle Roger, grandma. Hi, yeah. Why you drive so fast? Don't drive so fast. Why is police coming after you, is it? Why you cannot afford better food trucks? But it's a very nice car, Uncle Roger. Really? Nice car, don't go. <laughs> 
when you go above five mile an hour. But one good thing about driving old piece of shit like this is nobody want to steal. <laughs> Today, Uncle Roger gonna try my best to behave myself. No yelling at customer unless they are idiot. Oh, hello, hello. hello. What's your best seller here? Hainanese chicken rice. That's what rice guy is known for. Oh, I see. Okay. Anyway, I'll order the smoky barbecue corn. The smoke. I love, that, I love when a motherfucker asks, like, what's the best thing you have here? And then he just orders something else. You just ask what the best thing is? Yeah. Oh, well, yes. Then why you ask? If you make up your mind already, why you ask? Hi, uh, cut reader also not working. Your truck broken, your cut reader broken. You should have stuck with accounting, you know. I'm surprised Asian business, we usually cash only because we don't want to pay tax. But why, why Vanessa, why are you so honest? Do you hate money? Hello, hello, ha <laughs> Yeah, you're supposed to have two sets of books. Unless you're the government. I'm not saying that. But two books. You know, the books. But then the books. Right? The, the books. Here's my books. Take the books. And then my books. Hey, shh, shh. Ain't no books. What books? My pocketbooks. Those books. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. What do you want? Um, I don't eat chicken. You don't eat chicken? No, I don't like chicken. You live your life wrong. Well, so what you want today? <laughs> um, I'm gonna try your tofu. Tofu? tofu? Yeah. You know, that is last thing on menu for a reason. Do we have tofu? Yeah, we do. It's on the menu, so I guess. But why? Because uh, we want to make everyone happy. But not everybody deserves happiness. Oh, you are, <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I, I love everything you do. I'm oh, thank you. you. You make me laugh. Uncle Roger working. What else you want? Otherwise, you just go there and wait. <laughs> oh, hello. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, could I have the smoky barbecue pork? Smoky barbecue pork. Good choice. Good choice. Is it halal? It, what? What? Ask again? Is it halal? It's Is it halal? I'm hoping, I'm expecting. I shouldn't say hope. That might be hate speak. But I'm expecting Uncle Roger to tell him. Over there. You go over there. Okay, Papi Pop. Hello. Yes. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Pretty okay. good, pretty good. Okay, what you want today? Can I get some Hainan chicken rice? Hainan chicken rice? Okay, no problem. Uh, do you have it with brown rice though? With pound with what? Brown rice. Pound rice? Hi uh pound rice is the most disgusting rice. I you might as well have this. Healthier though, isn't it? Healthy. It's a lot healthier. That's what I thought. Yeah, disgusting thing always healthy. Is that how you want to live? Okay, fine, pound rice. You want pound rice? I give you pound rice. Thank you. Customer always right when Hello, hello, how are you doing? Yeah, okay, good. Can we okay. have two Hainanese roast chicken? Two please? Hainanese roast chicken, no problem. Yeah, can we have uh, extra MSG? Extra MSG! Oh my <laughs> god! This is my favorite customer! What? MSG is the best, it's king of flavor. Uncle Roger, we actually don't have MSG in our You place. don't have... what? We don't use MSG. That's why your business not good. <laughs> they don't have MSG here, but don't worry. Uncle Roger have my own stash. What's up? That's, That's right. right. When you have hot sauce in your pocketbook, hot sauce in your pocket, and I'm not fucking with you. I gotta tell you what the hot sauces I bring. You're like, oh, I'm just making it up. No, I'll tell you. El Chupacabra? You haven't heard of it because you're not cultured. Like, you know, you're missing something in your life. El Chupacabra is the hottest fucking... Thing I've ever tasted that also tasted good. There's other things that are hot, like the bomb insanity or uh, off of hot ones, you know, last dab. Very spicy, but not very flavorful. El Chupacabra, number one, far and away of heat uh, and flavor. And on the low key level, Sriracha, also good. You can't expect other people to know about that. So, like, even Sriracha, Sriracha is so common now, cock sauce. Cock sauce. It's called cock sauce. But you can't go and spend twenty dollars on a meal, fifteen dollars on a meal, twenty dollars, you know, twenty five dollars, twenty seven dollars, whatever you're spending, and expect them to have it because then they fucked up the whole meal. So you have to bring it with you. You bring it with you. Girls use pocketbooks. I don't have a pocketbook. I put it in my pocket and I bust it out. 
Never one time do I regret that. Never once. In fact, every single time, I'm like, thank fucking God I brought the hot sauce. Every time. Every time. In my own kitchen. It's already there. I make something, and I take a bite. Oh, that's not bad. Where's the fucking hot sauce? And then hot sauce on it. So much so that, like, my shelf in the kitchen, it looks like a grocery store. I have three bottles in a row of the same thing because I can never have a bottle go out and me run out. Then how are you going to eat? Like, how do you live? So you have, like, the bottle that's opened, and then you have a bottle in the cabinet, and a bottle behind that in case anything goes wrong. Like, you open a bottle and you spill it, or, like, it breaks... So you you have the bottle that's open, that's what we're using, a new bottle on the shelf, and a new bottle behind that bottle. Always at least three bottles. If it goes on sale, five bottles. What, What other... I'm sure you have like some logic for how you do things that's like not right or whatever, but I'm telling you, if something's good, you should at least have three of it. If it's fucking good, get three. If it goes on sale, buy five. If it's really on sale, then you buy 10, 15, and you put them, like, in a closet or, you know, however you store things. But, like, $2 off? You're like, well, fuck, I'll take 10 of these, and I'll save $20. I'll eat them over the course of the year. It's called savings. It's called savings. You don't save money. Like he said, you don't like money? Favorite niece and nephew. (laughs) Yes, I just elevated the food to the next <laughs> level. Uh, Uncle Roger want to lick the counter now, so tasty. <laughs> hello, hello, how, how are you? you doing? Good, good, good. Yeah. What do you want? Um, do you sell salad? Salad? Yeah, can I get the... Do you know the name of this food truck? It's Rice Guy, I not know. Salad Guy. Well, no salad here, but we got tree behind you. Go eat the leaf. <laughs> Go climb a tree and make your own salad. This is really bad service. I can't believe you're speaking to me like this. Yeah, you come to wrong truck and you want good service? You didn't do your research. Oh. And you want good service? Fine, okay. Okay. Leave a good review on Google. Leave a... Uncle Roger want to keep my job. Leave good review. Please. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. What you want? Uh, do you have chicken breast? It looks like what he wants is a fucking pardon looking for that mustache. He's obviously wanted for some felonies. I guess it's the UK. If this is America, uh, that's called a, um, when they wax the ends of it, a pe- it's called a pedophile mustache. Uh, you might know it also as a Catholic priest mustache, but they don't have um, mustaches, they just rape kids. Yes. Chicken breast? No, we only serve chicken thigh here. You like chicken breast? I like it. But that is the worst part of chicken. It's so tasteless. You might as well eat cardboard. Do you also enjoy cardboard? Do you also munch on cardboard for dinner? I got cardboard here. Why don't you just put some soy sauce, eat this? Eat this cardboard? Tastes just like chicken breast. I don't like soy sauce. You don't like soy? You just hate flavor. Why you hate flavor? You spend too much time on your mustache. Why don't you just eat some good food? <laughs> Uncle Roger, see you wear orange. I think this guy will have good taste. But then I... you come here, all the chicken breast, you let Uncle Roger down. I know. I, I like your passion there. Oh, thank you, thank you. I don't like your anything. <laughs> <laughs> the iPad lock, you didn't give Uncle Roger the passcode. Do you not trust me? <laughs> Do you think I will steal your food truck money? Oh, hello, hello. We got Chinese street fashion TikTok people. Oh, shit. You're in wrong country. Everybody here dressed like shit. No, so, ma. what you want? What you want today? Uh, Jaggy chicken feet. Chicken feet? Yeah, oh, really like that. Uh, that is. Chicken feet. That's racist. Just because they're Asian and he's Asian, you think they have chicken feet? There's no way they have chicken feet. There's just like no way. No, they don't have MSG. There's no way they have fucking chicken feet. It's best part of chicken. Can you believe earlier today, somebody asked for chicken breast? 
That is so bad. Chicken feet, best part of chicken. Yeah, Uncle true. Roger has food fetish, but only for chicken. <laughs> Human feet, I don't like. Chicken feet, mmm. Hello, Hi. hello, little girl. What do you want? Can we get just a bowl of rice? Just a bowl of rice? Yeah, what's that? With, with nothing? Nothing. You want just white rice? Is that what you feed her? That's why she's so skinny. She loves it. She loves just rice? Yeah. Just rice, that is child abuse. Children need protein and vitamin. We oh. don't serve just rice here. Sorry. Oh, okay. I have to eat bad review. No, yeah. no, no. We can serve rice, no problem. Uh. Rice, just rice. <laughs> oh, hello, hello, nephew. What you want? I guess. And then it's little chicken rice. I need chicken rice. Yeah. Okay, no problem. And with extra rice, please. With extra rice? Yeah, yeah. Okay, extra rice is extra money, you know? Yeah, it's alright. Okay. It's all right. Vanessa busy, so let me just charge you whatever I want. Oh, Vanessa, you extra rice only 50p? 50p for extra rice? No wonder this food truck going out of business. When you buy rice at Chinese restaurant, it's two pound, three pound. Or if you buy rice at Auntie Hersha, it's eight pound for egg fire rice. Hello. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. How are you? How old are you? Are you supposed to be here by yourself? You look too My young. My dad is over there. I'm you're, 14. You're 14? Yes. 14 cannot eat chicken rice. We put alcohol inside. I like alcohol. You like alcohol? Yes. Where your dad? He a terrible father. <laughs> nah, I like Do this guy. Do you know your son like alcohol? Yeah. What do you think about that? It's okay for 14. He's gonna do crack next year. What you think? <laughs> this parenting, hiya. Okay, what you want? Can I have a chicken rice without cucumber, please? Chicken rice with no cucumber. See, I don't know if it's like the Asian part or if it's the British part because it's like Asian British people. Which part is the part like where I'm like, the fuck are you ordering? Like, what are you doing? Like, I don't like tea time. It's tea time. I know about tea time now. I know. I don't fucking get it, but I, I understand. Oh, it's tea time. You mean it's lunch? No, it's tea time. Which is like a, it's like a break. It's like a, it's like a, an extended break and you have tea. I get what you're doing, but I don't fucking get what you're doing at all. Like, so I think the way they're ordering food, I think I would, yeah, I don't get it. It's like, if you're like, I'm doing heroin in my car. I understand all those words. I'm me doing verb. I'm doing heroin drug in a place, my car, the actual place. I get it. But I don't understand the fact that you're actually going to your car to do heroin. That isn't... I understand, but it doesn't compute. And the way that they're ordering these... I thought Americans ordered the dumbest fucking food ever. But the Brits... I mean, I see pounds, so I assume this is like Brits. Y'all might be the worst. Like, what the fuck are you ordering? You're making... The, you're like, these are like softballs for him. He's like, what you want? And you're like, I want dog shit. And he's like, no dog shit. It's like each person in a row. That's why we overthrew y'all. If you're, if you're curious, that's why like you were the oppressors globally. And then now you're just a fucking island suffering from COVID. You ever wonder how that happened? You guys like commanded the whole world. The world. Like you attacked the world. And now I don't even know what you do now. You play, so you play soccer, football, football. You play soccer, football. Oh, back in the 90s, you had Oasis and Blur. And you sent us Dev David Beckham a couple years ago. What the, f what the, what does the, f what did, how does England make any money? Conspiracy. This is like the next Jeffrey Epstein. Like, how are you still a country? Like, what is it that you do? You used to enslave people. 
We took that over from you. We became the new enslavers. Like we kicked all the uh, Native Americans out. We learned to do that. And then we fought a lot of wars. That's what we do. You used to do that. What do you do now? Oh, you have the Darren Brown guy. He's got a Netflix thing, right? The, the little speaky guy. He's like, uh, he's like sh small like me, but he does like kind of magic, but he talks about it. That should be a new series. Like, like why is England still a country? Cucumber. Yes. You just take the regular chicken rice, take the cucumber out yourself. No, but the flavor is still there. So many requests. You big 14-year-old man cannot take three slices of cucumber out. You want... I don't know anyone who says the slice... The, the, there's no one... That's the first person in humanity who's been like, there's a slice of cucumber and I can taste its after effect. My opinion of cucumber is that I don't know it was ever there. I'm not really a fan of cucumber, but I've never been like... Cucumber was here. Never. It's like the most... Is there any ingredient in earth that has less flavor than a cucumber? May maybe celery? I'd still put celery above a cucumber. I think celery like lasts longer. But you didn't ask that. You didn't ask that. You want her to take out the cucumber for you? Yes. Vanessa, do you want to take the cucumber out for this 14-year-old guy? Yeah, we can do it. Thank you. You see? She's you, so nice. You too nice? nice? No cucumber. No cucumber. But price still the same. Maybe one pound less. One what? pound less? Yes. But no, no. cucumber. Yes. No. no. One pound more for being annoying. Yes. <laughs> what cash? We don't take cash. Only card machine. This is cold week time. I don't want your cash. All the virus on there. But I sanitized before. With what? With, With alcohol. alcohol. Yay! Yes. Uncle Roger worked at this food truck all day today. What do you think, Boss Vanessa? It's okay. I think you did better than you did at Mei Mei. Oh, thank you. Uncle Roger learning. Yeah, maybe so, we'll have you back again. Oh, but next uh, time will you have two. MSG? <laughs> no, I think we'll still keep away from MSG at our truck. We have better we, truck? We actually have four trucks. Oh, yeah, this is, is the, this the worst one? one? Niece and nephew, come eat at Rice Guy. They're doing pretty good. Uncle Roger liked the food. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to Uncle Roger channel. See you next week. He got a whole team of ninjas. And he's got the one pedophile in the back. And look where he's looking at. The, look at everyone else. I'm not saying that they're all Asian. I mean, obviously they're British. Obviously, but look at where they're all looking at you. They're looking at me, except for the one fucking pedophile dude in the back with his uh, pedophile barb mustache is staring right at the back of Roger. It's a joke because it's funny, but it's not a joke because it's fucking true. Like, I'm not making it up. This is their video. And he's looking at him like... It's wrapped to overdub. He's looking at Roger like... If your team of ninjas wasn't here... I'd be pounding that rice. I don't know if he means that racistly or not. I don't know because he's a pedophile. I don't know how pedophiles think. But that's, uh, it's weird that he's looking at him like that way. Like right now I'm looking at you. Like I'm looking at you and it could be weird. Like maybe right now I'm staring at you and you're like, well, that's kind of weird. But I'm not staring at you like the way pedophile bite guy is looking at Roger. I'm looking at you like this because I'm just looking at you. Pedophile guy's looking at him like, dude, if that's just not creepy, then there's something wrong with your instincts. There's something wrong with how you think about the world. Yeah, I did like this video though. I 100% liked it. Way better than the last one. The first four Roger videos that I watched by myself, not on a reaction channel or on mine or in anyone's. 
I really liked. And then the fifth one was not as, uh, it's like uh, kind of okay. But I like this one. I like people fucking with people. I really enjoyed that. Because I also have done that in my life. Well, I did it last week. I did Uber for two days and I took 61 sets of people in two days. And I fucked with them and it was a blast. So I like fucking with people. It's funny, it's good. It's not a bad thing. How long was this fucking video? I'm the king of the longest videos ever. Chat, I will see you in a second. Uh, YouTube, why are you here? Like, I don't know what you're doing.